state number eight, first official post COVID, kind of sort of still in COVID runcation to where? Indiana. <laughs> Road trip from Columbus, only about three hours away, and we are on our way. Honey, it's state number nine. Technically, state number nine. Corrected by the husband because no. I always forget. Florida does not count. <laughs> no, I no, I I always forget to count Ohio. <laughs> That's what I forget to count. I forget to count Ohio. So technically the state that we live in was state number one. But if we're counting states we've traveled to for races in the runcation, this is state number eight. But in the counting them off of our map, it's state number nine, Indiana, heading to Carmel with a stop first at the Indianapolis Children's Museum, which happens to be the world's largest children's museum. So we will be taking some amazing video there to really showcase what it's like to go to a children's museum as two grown adults that are kids at heart. <laughs> what an amazing weekend this is gonna be. Race, children's museum, and maybe just a trip around the Indianapolis Speedway with Kissing the Bricks perfect way to spend the first post-COVID runcation. We made it to the expo! Woohoo! Carmel Marathon, Half Marathon, 10K and 5K with our masks. Welcome to the expo, which is outside to allow for social distancing. Ooh, and there's Berserker coffee. I remember this stuff from the Louisville Marathon. The Louisville Marathon had this coffee. So let's check out the expo. I love it. Good luck, runners. Best ever. This is a return to normal. Woohoo! Oh, these are the best magnetic dots we have a pair that is the best thing to hold a bib in it place is, for sure. no better bib holder <clears throat> uh, we got the urban bourbon which one day we hope will bring a smaller race Ooh. YMCA Fitness. Over here we have the Air Force Marathon, which is another Ohio race, which is in Dayton at the Air Force Museum. You actually go on the Air Force Base. That was Ryan's very first marathon. He did phenomenal. Looks like over here might be where the finish area is. This is an absolutely beautiful green space. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, chocolate. Super simple product name is free ingredients, vegan, dairy-free, so food free as well. Uh, maybe have a sample for you here. We're, we like to serve our chocolate warm just because it is so simple. You can really appreciate um, nice. the depth and that flavor profile. So this one's not All right. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So right here looks like where packet pickup is. They've got things separated. So I'm gonna get in line for packet pickup over there. So it's nice, they have it divided in terms of lines. So we have the marathon, half marathon, 10K and 5K. So let's go find the Ryan, the husband, and get in line for packet pickup. But let's check out what's over here first. And my glasses are totally fogging up. Got a nice little store here. We'll look in there in a little bit. <laughs> Carmel Police Department representing. No race would be complete without the police department. They're the best. I don't think the police departments in every city that has a marathon gets the proper 
um, call out and shout out because we would not be able to have racing if it weren't for those manning the streets or in your case womaning the streets. so thank you so much headbands might have to check out some of those can never have too many headbands spin the wheel credit union and every runner needs a good podiatrist over here at the Indy podiatry love your feet gotta love your feet when you're a runner this is awesome nice little small expo but lots of great representation so we're gonna go check out and get our race packets welcome Packet pickup. Packet pickup. Packet pickup. It didn't get any better than this, folks. It doesn't. Marvel, Indiana. It doesn't. That's where we're. Return to in person racing, and I know that I'm not the only runner out there that is super excited to be back in in person running. That is right. We haven't had a big race like this for over a year. I'm yep. running the marathon tomorrow. I haven't had a chance to run with people for a long time. Yep. It's going to be awesome. We've missed it. We have missed it horribly. So where did you come from to run today? Columbus, Ohio. This Columbus, is state Ohio. number nine. Okay. So this is state number nine? State number nine. And it, we were registered for last year, so we were one of we were one of the deferrals. Yeah, yep. Someone died. Someone died. Very good. But that's okay because we're here. That's good. That's good. So welcome. Yes. Yeah, my husband over there is running the marathon and I'm running the 10K. Do you want your bib number? I have it. <clears throat> All right, let's see if my packet's ready to be picked up. It's Ashley Garcia. I'll get the shirt. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so Are you going to be checking gear at the beginning of the year? Not checking gear. Yeah. Women's XL. Because it not, looks like it's a tech shirt. <laughs> it's not really a women's XL. 10K? Oh, yeah. Women's XL. That's Definitely. Good. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. We really appreciate the volunteers. You're you guys welcome. are awesome. So I'm glad I actually stopped and went back around and looked at stuff because I almost missed it. There is actually a like little official running store and race store right out from the um, main entrance to the expo, which we missed it because we came from the parking garage area. So this is actually the entrance. And another little running store here. But what makes it really cool is there's a nice little running store. So I wanna see what they have to offer because this is really cool. Nice. So this long sleeve is 25. Has race weekend information on it. That's really sharp. And then this one right here looks like it's in a lighter blue. Ooh, over here, speaking my language, this is clearance. These are awesome. Oh, this is really cool. It's kind of like a hoodie, but it's not a hoodie. This is really fun. I like that. Caramel marathons. So these are probably from years past. And then these are probably race shirts from different years. That one's fun. Every race expo I've ever been to always has a rack with discounted shirts from previous years. That's where you need to check out. So $10 for these t-shirts here. Oh, this one's really nice. Look at that one. That one's a long sleeve with like the palladium or the capital on it. Run Caramel. That one's solid. And then these ones right here are also $10. Those are really cute. I might have to get one of those. I absolutely love that. So unique and different. Yeah, that's that's solid choice there. And then these over here, again, are those light blue. They've got some kettle corn set up. I think I might have to get that. Let's check out some other merch. Hello. It's like a merch truck. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> okay, they've got Yetis and sticker decals. 
hat because it is gonna be cold tomorrow, which is just depressing. But some really awesome shirts up there. Oh my gosh, I like that yellow one. Really reasonable prices too, which is nice. Different hats. And there's a special that if you spend 25 and purchase a 2020 finisher tee for only $5. So what's the 2020 finisher tee? Which one's that one? <clears throat> the sad little help me get rid of these because they're still <laughs> left over from that race. Well, yes, but they're a nice white tech tee. That is a really solid tech tee, actually. It's yeah, really it's nice. Cool. Oh, with the X on the back. So that would have been our official race shirt last year yes. if it had not been canceled, yeah. but we're here this year. So this is really nice. So spend 25 and then get this for only $5. So that's a solid deal. I'm gonna go um, hunt down my husband and see if he wants to spend any money because I'm totally rocking out one of those little shirts. This is great. Thank you so much. I love it. Love it. Hello everybody, we are in Carmel at the whew, marathon. It's really cold. Um, I just can't seem to get away from the cold, which is funny. So this is Ashley. Um, it's been a morning. Not only is it cold, but my water bottle just leaked like all over me. So um, not starting off the greatest, but you know, it happens. I should not have tried to have a drawstring while I was waiting for the race to start. It's getting loud, you can feel the energy. But what I wanted to show you while we get ready to start is the finish line area to see our great volunteers, but also they're jam packed with a whole bunch of food. Thank you volunteers. You guys are awesome. We got our bikers. There's Ryan. Hi. He's ready. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Check your watches. We will be starting in less than three minutes. Thank you all for wearing your masks, for social distancing, and helping us to safely put on the 11th Carmel Marathon. We're so happy to have you here in Carmel, Indiana. And the Indiana members here Credit we go. Union 5K. Good luck to all of our 5K and 10K runners. See you at the finish line. Let me hear you as you go by. 10K, there's Mr. Kreider. Good luck, Mr. Kreider. Let me hear you as you go by. Give a big wave for the cameras. Let me hear you. Wave to the cameras. Woo! You're on camera. Say hey. Good luck, Woo! Good luck. Good luck. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Carmel, Indiana. Have fun today. Have fun. Here we go. All right, mask officially came down. We are going. We have started the 10K and racing is back. Thank you. I try. Quite well. <laughs> All right, and we're on a run again. There's some first 5K finishers going by. They are cruising. I'm at the 0.87, so they are cruising. Great job. But I gotta tell you, this is beautiful city, amazing small town, and the art district is just so cool. So this is definitely a recommended race. Coming up to our first photographer, which is super cool. So this is where we always take our frown and turn it upside down. No race is complete without your pictures. Woohoo! Thank you! 
You guys are great. And we are now back on a walk, but we can't walk through the pictures. So we've got to always run through those pictures. So it looks like we're going to go up on the trail, which is really nice. And I'm out of breath, but that's okay. Okay, here comes mile one. Let's check and see how accurate it is, according to my watch. Nice little turn. And it is spot on, ladies and gentlemen. And I'd like to point out that I just did a 1350 mile. I need to slow myself down. I got five more of these little suckers to go. So we gotta slow down. Thanks for being out here. Woohoo! We are at about one and a half miles. And I gotta say going through residential is so much fun because now we have our first family with signs and they're absolutely great. Yay, family, thank you. Woohoo! The course is really well marked, which is easy to follow. And it looks like we're coming up to our split, which is really good. And as projected, we've lost the coat and the gloves. <laughs> so, stripped down a layer, but doing okay. And we're back to our walk. Really nicely marked signs. I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a 10K, I'm this way. <laughs> so Carmel has like a thousand of these roundabouts. And um, if you've never driven on a roundabout, be prepared if you come to Carmel because they're everywhere. And it looks like they're gonna use this roundabout here, right at the base of the art and design district that we ran through a little while ago to signify who's going where. I am this way. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. And here we go with all these runners in front. We're hanging out and we're doing great. We've made it to the two mile mark, two miles in. I'm about back on pace at a 1414, which is much better. Um, I wanna go faster, but we've got four more miles to go. So we need to make sure we can serve that pace and keep it nice and consistent. Great water stop. Back on my feet, water stop. Woohoo! Yeah, completely hands-free. Touch free. We're gonna stop and grab one. Thank you. So we are heading down John Street and we just ran past a really big shopping plaza, I think in Westlake. <clears throat> but this is like a little down and back and we'll come out here. But we are almost to the three mile mark. You can see it up ahead. I'm at 2.9 and we're doing great. I'm at 41.29, getting it done, still feeling strong. Great job, runners! Woohoo! So we are approaching mile four, and what makes it really cool, first off, I found the wind, so the coat might be going back on, but we are now on the Monin Trail, which is one of the things that this area is known for. It is an amazing way to stay fit. It connects Carmel, and the northern suburbs of Indianapolis to downtown Indianapolis. And it's a paved biking, walking, and running trail. And that is where we are right now. We are on the Monin Trail, approaching mile four. And I gotta say, there's a lot of races I've done where they're not properly marked. This one is on point, which is really nice. So this is also mile marker 24 for the marathoners which we have the signs coming up right here. And we're coming into a run. So let's run into mile four. We 
we are following Jeff Galloway's walk run. We are doing a one minute run, two minute walk. And we're hoping to get back to the two minute run, one minute walk. But we'll wait and see what happens. So we are at a 1432, staying nice and consistent. Two more to go, almost there. More than halfway done, getting it in. Thank you guys. We've got Gatorade, porta potties, and water. Yeah, baby. This is the second water stop for 10K with great crowd support. Woohoo! And we're continuing on the Monin Trail. We are coming into mile five. I'm at 4.94, and that was that water stop. A photographer, I think, caught me <laughs> putting my coat back on because I was cold in the shade with these like trees and the sun's blocked by the houses, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so one of my pictures might have a really funny pose, but that's okay. Um, great picture photographer places out on the course, especially for the 10K, there's more than one, um, which is really refreshing. I love when you get pictures with a race. <clears throat> Here comes a runner because there's a biker. Maybe not, maybe. There they are. Go runner, go. So that should, if that's a marathoner, I will be shocked. But we're at mile 25 for the marathon and I just hit five miles at a 14.06. So we sped up a little bit. So this is the first time where the signs have been a little bit off, but not by much. Mile 25, mile five on the Monin Trail. One more to go, we're in the home stretch. 10K, we're about to get it. So, staying positive and staying strong. <laughs> Took the coat off again, and now I'm freezing again. But, the important thing is, we are right around 5.5. I have slowed down a little, but we're still keeping up a good pace. And there's the Carmel Water Tower, Bob's Burgers, where I'm hoping to come later on. Yeah, Carmel! Greetings from Carmel! That is gonna be the finisher medal picture with Ryan later. I found it, there it is. All right, everybody, I have slowed way down. We just hit six. We're at one hour and 26 minutes. That was a 1442 mile. Thank you. We are coming into the finish, but we have one hell of a tailwind and it's really brutal running into this wind. We also are on an incline. So this race is finishing on a hill, <laughs> which is not okay. <laughs> so I was just told to put the camera back on because we have one block to go. I am walking. I'm about to pick up the pace and run for the finish. But <laughs> apparently one block. There's the Palladium. We are almost there. We are gonna finish what looks like ahead of goal. Great crowd support, great race, great location. And the race is long, because I just hit 6.2, but we're gonna run it in. There it is. There's the finish. Here comes 6.2 miles. 6.2. And it looks like I'm coming in ahead. We've got marathoners over on the south Woo! side of the road coming through for their second Woo! lap. Make some noise Woo! for them. So before we go too far, because I'm going to have to put my mask on because I'm at the finish line, they have Mylar, which on a day like today is awesome. 
you pick up your own medals from a table, which you can't really see. There we go. There's my medal. We're going to go down this way for food. And setting a new course record. Finish line. Right there. We did great here in Carmel. Now that I've caught my breath, my mask has got to go back up. And we are done with that 10K, which we did a little extra for my friend Teresa, who turned 63 today. So 6.3 miles for her. And we did a great job. So now we're gonna go get food, recover, and wait for the husband. So I now understand the marathon has to turn around. So that wasn't the marathon finish that we saw when I was coming in for a finish. We all finished the same way. But the marathoners had to go down a different chute because this is where they hit their second loop or their second lap. So it's really cool. We should be able to see Ryan. The three hour marathoners just went through, which is great. Um, I got to tell you, I had to get a bag. <laughs> There's Lay's potato chips, chocolate milk. Um, there were masks and hand sanitizer at the finish line um, food area as well which was great, but what's really cool is they have official time, people, and I have my time, which is 129.41 at a 14.26 pace. I'm happy to say that I came in 20 seconds under my projected. I really was hoping for 130, and if I had sped up a little bit at the finish, um, if I had not slowed down that last little bit at mile five to six, I would have definitely come in a lot faster than what I came in at. But to me, coming up that hill in that tailwind, it was worth slowing down. Um, so we did what we had to do to stay strong. Uh, my physical therapist tells me that form over speed, and I feel good. What's really great here is we have pancakes, Pancake Village, which is awesome. Nice and warm pancakes and chocolate milk, which is the best way to finish. So I'm really excited. Here comes Ryan. Ryan, you're doing so good. Come into mile 26. Come on. Come on, let's get it done. Come on. 